for the guys that's returning, I know you see that I took some time off. It was really supposed to be a week, but I ended up taking about two or three weeks. I was really trying to create some ideas to like really spruce up the channel. In the meantime, I actually gained some subscribers. So when I left, I was around 89 subscribers. <laughs> Woo to me. When I came back, or just yesterday as I checked, I was around 105 subscribers, which is a small milestone in the YouTube world, but it's a big deal to me because most of you guys, not most of you guys, but some of you guys joined while I took the little hiatus to kind of reconfigure the, the channel. So for the new subscribers, I do appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for the comments. And now I'm back. And since you guys have been watching and commenting during that time off, I just decided why not do a giveaway? So stay to the end of the video for the details of the giveaway. So today I'm reviewing a fragrance from the house of Chris Collins and it's called Tokyo Blue. So this fragrance was a gift by my wife uh, for Christmas. I had to wait for it a little while, you know the mail has been kind of crazy. But she told me um, that I had a fragrance from this house coming and I know that I heard about this house. I've seen some reviews um, about this house. But when I went to go check on YouTube, the only review I actually seen was from Haven Lee Sense, I believe it is. And I didn't watch it because I didn't want, you know, I just wanted to kind of go off my own. But you should probably go check his out, and I'll probably check his out after this. So I was like, damn, cool. Nobody really reviewed this one or nothing that I've seen. And I really wasn't clicking on the collection reviews because I really just wanted to know about this. So what I did was I just went to the website and read up on it. So a little bit of what I learned was Chris Collins is a American niche brand. Um, I believe I seen that he worked for Polo, but don't quote me on that. But this brand has been around since I believe like 2017, 2018. And some of his other fragrances that's mostly known, I guess, in those other reviews are fragrances like Renaissance, Carl Knights, and Don Savage. I'm pretty sure that I butchered that, but it's all right. But Tokyo Blue, he describes as influential and artistic. Kind of put him in the mind of a jazz setting. And from what he says, it reminds him of his father. His father used to wear um, a lot of violet, strong fragrances. So of course this fragrance is gonna have a nice amount of florals in it. And it's part of his dark romance collection. So when I read that, I was kind of intrigued. I was like, all right, man, this male gotta come on in. And, and deliver my fragrance for sure. So as far as presentation, it comes in this nice square box with the logo on the front. When you open the box, it's sitting quite nice in this velvety suede type uh, coffer that holds on to it pretty tight. The bottle itself isn't anything too fancy, but it's pretty dope because it comes in this darkish hue, which the juice I believe is clear but the bottle is painted a bit dark with a gold cap, so it sticks within the theme of the case, and it feels quite luxurious to me. And the note breakdown is pretty discreet. It has bergamot, ling ling, galbanum in the top, and the heart it has violet, orris, mimosa absolute, orange blossom, and rose in the heart, and then it has cedarwood and musk in the base. So when I finally did get this in the mail, the one thing I knew was that this fragrance was definitely going to be very aromatic. I'm talking about super wide in regards to like the scent bubble and then the sillage. Off top, I could definitely tell you I get the green notes of it or more or less the floral notes, the violet, um, some of the rose in it as well. But it smells fresh, almost like it has sage in it. I'm not really sure too much about galbano maybe it comes off with a sage note um i should probably research that huh but i know that me it gave a real herbaceous uh send off on the first couple of sprays and especially within the first maybe 30 minutes it was more green in a way to me um when you think about dark fragrances or if you hear the name dark romance you kind of normally think about something that's woody or creamy or at least uh to my knowledge and especially with my winter collection right now jesus christ but it was honestly refreshing and surprising to me um maybe because i was expecting something darker even though the note breakdown didn't really lend to it being a darker fragrance but surprisingly refreshing while still having some mysticism to it I definitely get the setting when he talks about a great night out at a jazz club with people dancing, 
the band's killing it, you know, drinks flying everywhere. I could see this fit in this scenario. What I really like about this fragrance is that the violet kind of gives it an old school vibe, but still being modern. I'm pretty sure I said that maybe in my ovation video or some a couple other videos, because this fragrance kind of puts me in that mindset of something that is dedicated to, you know what I'm saying, the older days, but still fits within the category of how we wear fragrances and how our lifestyles are ran today. So yeah, some of the notes in here, I'm not really familiar with, but I can definitely tell you I really enjoy it. Um, as far as projection and longevity, it projects off of my skin, uh, according to my house and a couple of people that I've been around for a good two or three hours, very strong. Like the sea is just strong. It has no ambroxan in it, but as we know, like ambroxan has been put in a lot of different fragrances to uh, boost performance. So think of ambroxan as far as the boosting of performance, but without smell. Like, I don't know what's in here that's like really boosting the smell of this fragrance, but it definitely jumps off of my skin and like it, trails throughout the house it trails in my car i know the first time when i wore it which was um one day last week um the next day when me and my wife was getting ready to go to the gym she could still smell it in the car and honestly like even when you're walking into my doorway you can still kind of get whiffs of it so it's definitely something although it has more of a fresh take to it it's something definitely that would catch attention of people that surround you it's not something that's super subtle and even with the performance to me it performed well on my skin for about seven hours before it became a skin scent but even up close i think little spurts of the orange blossom and maybe the mimosa and then the violet and then your lang lang you would get some of that if you was pretty close according to what my wife said so this fragrance definitely performs very very well um i would say seven to seven to ten hours in completion before it like completely dries down but then it still always lingers in the air for maybe a day or two after the fact so good job on that and it is a restricted perfume so you expect that um out of these concentrations and because this is a niche house and a restricted perfume <laughs> of course you know price tag comes with that this retails at 225 I haven't seen this one on too many discounted sites, so I don't know that you can get this discounted, maybe in the Facebook group or maybe on eBay, which I really didn't even check. So because of the price, this is something that you definitely want to spray sparingly, it's a 50 um, ml. And honestly, because of the projection and the CIs, you don't have to go heavy on the sprays. I could go forward and be happy. I could probably honestly go two and be happy, but I'm just so used to spraying at least minimum four times. That's just where I come off with it. Um, so yeah, it is on a more pricey side. And I think it is set that way for people to be able to appreciate the fragrance and the story behind it. So my overall rating for this is actually a nine out of 10. It hits all cylinders, scent, Siage, presentation, longevity, everything hits the mark with this fragrance. The only reason why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 is because of the price. $225, I like niche fragrances. I don't mind spending a buck, but to me, this is still a freshie. Even though it does last pretty long, I have other fragrances that are kind of in the same similar boat. That's just less of the price that it does the same thing and performs the same, um, not the exact same smell, but it's similar enough to where, you know, I have multiple of this type of scent in my collection now. So to me, the only thing that keeps this away from being a 10 out of 10 is honestly the price. Um, and to some people, that won't be a big deal, but to most people, 225 for a fresh fragrance is kind of high. But lucky for you guys, I have a sample of this. So let's get to talking about how to win that sample. To enter to win the sample, just drop a comment and hashtag the casual collector. And in a week's time, I'll come back. And I may just have to do another video to say who won it because for whatever reason, I don't have a community tab to make posts just yet. So I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers. I want to get there by May. Um, so I'm gonna be dropping content more consistently again. 
And, you know, you guys can help by sharing my video, telling people to subscribe to my video, and just watching and commenting. If you guys notice, I answer all comments, um, and I appreciate them good, bad, or indifferent. So, keep them coming, and I do appreciate it. So, in a week's time, I'll make a special video just for this contest. And, you know, good luck to whoever's the lucky winner. Alright guys, so that's my time. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something from it. If so, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. I'm back to dropping content on a more consistent basis. Uh, help me get to a thousand subscribers. And drop a comment. Tell me what you guys want to see next. I told you I have some things in store for you that I think you'll really enjoy. So stay tuned for that. It's coming very, very soon. And so until next time, when you step out into the world, be sure to smell good and smile. It's out.